Goddamn, bro. In full force with the Rainbow Crew. Gay Parade coming through. Uh, got your boy Rainbow Super Saiyan Goku. Got your boy Super Duper Vegito Rainbow Duper. Um, got your boy Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Uh, no Rainbow Star, but his UR symbol is Rainbow, so I'm going to count him as Rainbow too. And uh, what I'm about to do, what I'm about to do is something that I may or may not regret. I don't know. Um, I, I think I'm going to go for a multi on this fly cooler banner. Now, here's my reason. I've been wanting to pull since the second year anniversary. I've been doing a lot of single summons. I probably spent like 30 stones worth of single summons. I got two SSRs, which isn't bad. That's actually really good. But I've been dying to just do a multi. And I haven't taken any else. I have not taken any else, right? And I think it's important. It's healthy to take it out. So I'm not expecting anything for this banner. I'm probably going to get a fucking L. So why not just go with the flow? Take the L now, and I'll feel better about it later. That's a, that's a good philosophy, philosophically, uh, to go with in life, in my opinion. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to do the single summon. We're going to get a fucking, a, I don't know what Pokemon that is, but there we go. And then we're going to back out. We're going to go back in. We're going to go for the multi-summon. Here we go. All the way in. One pot, two pots. See, I told you it was going to be, you know. Go ahead, down. Release. Uh, oh, man. This man. Uh-oh. This might be a bear. This might be bear. Okay, at least we got his. All right. Whew. Whew. All right. All right. All right. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm really happy that wasn't a fucking L. Let's, I mean, it's good. I mean, it, it's, it might be an L. IDK. But at least you have some type of hope. You know what I mean? They give you that hope. They're like, hey, listen. Here you go. And hopefully, this is what I want from this banner. Just give me one more SR Tech Cell. If I got one more SR Tech Cell, ooh. Yes, that's pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. That's pretty nice, bro. A Duke Broly can get crits on this guy now. It's pretty lit. It's pretty lit. Although, I must say, I very rarely use this Broly on my villains team. I usually use, um, I usually use, who the fuck do I use? Oh, yeah, LR Broly. But this guy definitely has a place in my heart. I like him. I think he's a handsome guy. I'm pretty sure this guy becomes a UR. I think I might have like five copies of this guy. I don't know if I'm going to fucking lose my mind and like make a fucking, I don't know, Omega Mongi UR out of that guy. Probably not. That's fucking retarded. And this is the last one I believe. Okay, never mind. It's not the last one. This is the last one I believe. Okay, never mind. It's not the last one. Another thousand. Get the fuck out of here. So, uh... I guess that's not enough. I mean, it's one of the OG God leads. It's one of the featured SSRs. Uh, I don't mind. I do not mind. Uh, as you can see, I think he's, what, the second or third card? Let me see. One, two, three, fourth. Not too bad. I actually don't mind getting a dude with that fucking Broly because once you get crit on him, he's so much better, dude. He becomes a god. I think I can get his crit up to what? Maybe eight, nine, nine crit, I think. I think I can get it to nine crit. Which isn't too much. It's not compared to SDR where you can get a free 11 or even a strong 14. But at the same time, what are you going to do? Baba. All right, there we go. I took him to the Baba shop. Da -da -da -da. Sold them niggas off. Da -da -da. Into slavery. Oh, never mind. My bad. No, no, no. I don't, I don't endorse that kind of uh, behavior. Uh, but yeah, that really was. An unnecessary multi summon, but uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't care. All right, let's see. Uh, but fifteen. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Boom. And let's go ahead. And I guess I'll keep it as is. I, I guess I'll leave LR Goku as leader. I know it's a little less HP and attack, but who gives a fuck? And uh, yeah, I really. Whoa, your boy Kura. Damn, bro, this looks like the retarded gay Power Rangers. Fucking disgusting. Um, but yeah, definitely, since the release of Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, I like, I have no, I don't know what to say for. I mean, I, I mean to be honest, I kind of wanted to pull just to pull. Uh, whether it be an L or a W, I guess that's a fucking, I mean, it's a dupe, understandably, but I never had a dupe of that card, so I guess for some, that might be a W. For me, that's a W. For some, that might be an L. Uh, but... You know, since Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's out, it's like, what the fuck? Like, what else can there be? Other than, I don't know, 
better cards, but I don't really care about better cards. Like, literally on JP, I have Mono STR. It's not even that good of a team. Look at these fucking monks. It's not even that good of the team, and I literally bodied every single event up to... What's the most recent one? I think Fi Go Tanks was the most recent Dogen event. Or, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't care. Like, what's the fucking... What's the point of this game, man? Like, you just, you just like, put stones into it, and then, like, you get these weird characters out of it. I don't see the point. All right, let's see. Let's do that. And I'm going to go ahead and preserve these orbs for your guy, LR Goku. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Take the L. Take the L so LR Goku can take the W. Keep it real. That's how we do. Uh, I think a... Double Gogeta Super, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and regular Gogeta should kill this guy. Okay, yeah, that is, okay, this is fucking, this definitely should kill. Bye-bye. Please counter, bro. If you counter, you don't. Mm. Mm, start beating on me. Oh, my God, it's so beautiful. Fucking A, man. But, yeah, that's fucking great, dude. I love that shit so much. Fucking, it, like, soothes my autism so much. And, hey, don't judge. Don't judge. That autism is what helped me. Get past Calc 3. Let's keep it real. So let's do that. Let's see. Which which is better? I guess it's better to leave Super Saiyan 4 Goku in rotation because I'm going to take him out eventually anyway. So might as well. So is it? Who's? Mm. Yeah, might as well. Who gives a shit? And da 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 da. Boom. Uh, speaking of autism and calculus. I actually just got done, well, not right now, but a couple hours ago, I was at a friend's house and I watched the new Death Note movie that came out on Netflix. Now, let me just say, if you, you know, if you got tempted to, you know, buy Netflix just to watch that movie for some weird reason, you're a fan of the anime, I recommend that you don't. It literally, it has nothing to do with the anime whatsoever. And I'm going to go ahead and take a chance and say that Cooler won't super me, and even if he does, he can't super me more than once. I'm gonna fucking wreck this boy with this fucking counter system. All right, and you know what? I'm so confident I'm actually gonna super AGL Thouser. How about that? Catch me outside. How about motherfucker? Gee, you make me look like a fool. How dare you, Cooler? Um, but yeah, I watched the new Death Note movie. It was really shit. It was pretty bad. It was kind of funny to watch just because it was so bad. Like, it had nothing to do with the Amine. Uh, I mean, the anime. Fuck. Amine's the rapper. Anime's the weeboo shit. I, I gotta get it together. Um, and by the way, that what I just said is fucking... It's not... Oh my god, this guy's supering too. What a fucking drainer. And by the way, what I just said, fucking... I was just watching Kabuki's video. And he put me in so much Genjutsu. Because his fucking... Some like I don't know why his summonings, his summon jutsu, his kuchio seno jutsu puts me in the realm, like in a good genjutsu. Like whenever he's summoning a soccer apostle, he's like Shandara. He's like I can fight you, and I'm like, Boo. I'm like, whoa, this is sucking me in. Like it puts me in the realm. It's a good genjutsu. Let's keep it real. Uh, so let's go ahead and heal. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Let me use big head. Um, so yeah, Death Note. It's fucking retarded. For some reason, I don't know why. Uh, it doesn't even matter how hard I try. Uh, the plot has nothing to do with the anime. Like, they even changed Light Yagami's name. Instead of it being Light Yagami, it was Light Turner. Which I guess because he's white and Turner's like the whitest name ever. I guess he's related to fucking Timmy Turner or some shit. And for some reason, at the beginning of the movie, like, you just see a Death Note literally fall out of the sky. Oh, that's a good crit to get now at the end. Uh, you just see a Death Note fall out of the sky. I applaud you for busting my armor squad. But now I will fist you in the ass. Whoa, take it easy. That's a big ass fist. Uh, a Death Note falls out of the sky. Light Turner, not Light Yagami, picks it up. And he just he's like, boop, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, and he starts fucking walking off with it. He doesn't question why this shit just fell out of the sky. And for some odd reason, literally, his first person he kills, like, I don't know why, but they decided to make Light Turner seem like a weird, angsty, like, white fucking emo kid. Like, like at the beginning of the movie, he's just sitting down watching some kid get bullied, or he's standing there watching him get bullied. And he's like, yo, stop bullying him, blah, 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 and he gets beat up. And he's just like that typical, like, fuckboy, white boy kid. Ooh, shit, nice. Fucking nice placement for me. Boom, bye-bye, stupid. Um... 
And the first person he kills with the death note is a bully. Like, he literally, like, the Shinigami pops up, light shits himself and cries. And fucking Ryuk is like, hey, you know, you could fucking kill that guy out there who's bullying that little, that little kid. Uh, you could do it. And then Light is like, yeah, you know what? I'll do that. Why not? And he fucking kills some random bully. And I understand a bully's like an asshole or whatever, but it seems like a really extreme punishment for someone who's just knocking a kid's book bag around. Like, there's a difference between murderers and fucking weirdos, and then fucking... Ooh, that's a sexy fucking pose. Murderers and weirdos, and then fucking some guy just pushing some kid around. And then, like, as the movie goes on, it gets weirder. Like, it's, like... For some reason, I don't, I don't, I don't understand how, I don't, like, I'm not, I'm missing something, but literally two seconds into the film, Light is like, you know what, I gotta, I, he goes into Genjutsu, he's like, he just goes up to some bitch, some random bitch, I think her name's Mia, and he's like, uh, yeah, I got a death note, I can kill people, and she's like, she's like, huh, like, what, like, what are you talking, like, I'm surprised she didn't go, what are you, fucking cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, nigga? And then you just see him, he goes onto a live stream of some guy in Seattle who's, like, taking hostages, and he, like, writes his name down and looks at his face, and he dies, and she's like, oh my god, this is so fucking hot. Like, she, for some reason, she gets off on murder, like, I'm not even joking, like, the next scene, all you see is fucking Light and her looking at a database of criminals, and he just, he's, like, fucking her and killing people at the same time, like... I, it was like the ultimate aphrodisiac. He's like, oh, yeah, you like that, don't you? You like when I kill people? Mm -mm, take it, take it. And I'm just like, this is weird fan service. Like, I was just looking at my friend. I'm like, well, this is fucking, this is really weird. And then for some reason, this bitch goes from, like, a kinky fucking she likes people to die to full-on, like, murder niggas. Like, she goes into Genju, so she's like, you know what? You know what, like, you got to stop killing just criminals. Got to stop killing just criminals. You should really focus on killing these agents that are following us. Like FBI, police, and he's like, can't do that. They're nice people. They're good guys. And then what this bitch does is she just goes up to his room and she takes a page of the death note. And apparently you could just take a page and just write names in it and kill niggas. Even though it's not in the book, but you could take it. And it's like, whatever, the fucking Shinigami will do it. He's like just a random mong for hire. And she just starts killing cops. And, and what's hilarious at one point of the movie, she actually tells, like, uh, his father's like a police officer. And he's saying he's going to find Kira, the murderer. And she's like, you know, you're going to have to kill this guy, right? You're going to have to kill him. And, this, and, bro, she actually goes for the book. And she's like, yeah, you got to kill your dad. And he's like, bitch, what are you, fucking crazy? I ain't killing my dad. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. And then that's pretty, that was so, like, it's such a weird, like, why is she so crazy moment. And then fucking Elle pretty much... L, the only black man in the movie. Shout out to L. Uh, for some reason, after that, L's like, yo, he didn't kill his dad. Obviously, Kira's light. Case closed. And then the rest of the movie's just weird. Like, I don't know. They decide to make L like some crazy black guy at the end. Like, fucking that crazy bitch ends up killing L's like retard handler. And L loses his mind. He starts chasing fucking light down the alleyway with a gun. And... And then fucking L ends up getting hit in the head by some mong because he's like, oh, I love you, Kira, and this fucking black man won't hurt you. You know, these blacks in these fucking neighborhoods. And then, I don't know, it's just like a weird ending. I, I definitely would rate it a 9 out of 10. I would see it again. It's really weird and retarded. And I guess if you have Netflix, I'd recommend you watch it. And if, if you watch the anime, I say you watch it too because, like, it literally has nothing to do with the anime. Like, I, I watched that shit and I forgot what the fuck happened in the anime. I have no clue. Light Yagami? Boo. Don't know who that is. I'm all about that Light Turner, boy. But, uh, hey, that's it. As you can see, this is like my fifth, maybe fifth time, fourth time, whatever time. Fourth time beating this event. I'm nice. I'm lit. It's legit. And, uh, that is about it.